hello welcome to my channel so today we're going to be making palm nut soup or pemine soup with peanut butter so the ingredients are chicken goat made fish three maggi basil leaves four long peppers one habanero peppers tomato paste two onions peanut butter and palm oil so to start off you season your meat you can use whatever season that you have and then you go ahead and add some water to the meat because it's goat meat and it's time to cook so whenever you're cooking goat meat just remember that some people even use pressure cooker to get their goat meat going um i didn't have that so obviously you have to um cut your onions and your peppers for this first step i just cut this one particular onions because i used two onions the first one was what i used to cook with the goat meat just to build on that flavor right because if you follow my channel you know flavor is the way to go when you're cooking okay so we just cut that onions and throw it on the pot with the goat meat and from there we're going to go on to doing other things so let's keep going <laughs> okay so we throw the onions on the pot as you can see the goat meat was already there I added I think one cup of water I end up using four cups of water just to cook the goat meat because like I said it's goat meat I think maybe I got the male the female goat because I think the female goat is the one that is really hard to cook and the male goat is not hard to cook so I think I got the female goat so um, yeah you add on your onions and let it cook you mix it together as you all know what we do on here is mixology okay so you mix all that and then you leave it for it to cook so i didn't put all the four cups of water at once so i kept touching the te the texture of the meat and i noticed okay this one needs more water so i just added one cup of water as you guys can see and then I just kept mixing it and leave it for it to cook so it was cooking and you can see I add more water on it and I just added more because again the meat wasn't cooked so at this point I just went ahead and add my chicken because the chicken also is a hard chicken um, it's a smoked chicken and I got it from the African store but you can use whatever meat that you have in the house you don't have to use a smoked chicken you can use smoked turkey you can use turkey whatever chicken that you have the one that is not smoked anything but smoked is actually preferred for this recipe so then you leave it for it to cook for a while like five to ten minutes and then you come back you see the water had reduced so I went it add and put on my onions and peppers that I had blended remember I used two big onions and then over there I just dropped um, um, one tablespoon of tomato paste that's because I'm cooking soap and I just wanted to add that there a little bit you can skip that you don't have to put tomato paste on there so at this point i put my tomato paste my onions my peppers and i just add my palm oil i use one fourth of a um one half of a cup of palm oil that's what i use because i didn't want too much palm oil and of course this palm oil is special <laughs> because um i don't get to have um the real original cerulean palm oil so i try to like in cereal we say pinchy pinchy yeah i try to use just a bit um, so I put in my peanut butter I got this peanut butter from the African store but you can use the peanut butter from the regular store just the one without sugar on it so I end up putting one fourth of peanut butter two two cups of that and of course after that I added one cup of water because again it's your soup when it's soup you add water 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 okay so I went ahead and add my seasoning I have three Maggie, I had two jumbo and one cube and then I sprinkled my basil on there and the basil is just to give it the flavor for the smell like I love basil leaves 
I love basil leaves. I think in Sierra Leone we call it Pat Menji. I used to love it because it was growing like um, close to my house, like down the road, and I always got there to like smell it. <laughs> so um, as you can see, our, our soup is coming along and it's looking delicious already. The last thing I'm gonna put on is the fish. I put the fish last because it wasn't hard. It was really soft and doesn't take that much time to cook. And at this point, look at it. Our soup is done, right? All finished and this came out so good I want you guys to try it at home and let me know what you think and thank you guys for watching may God bless you like this video tell your family members to come and join the taste of Salon where you have delicious food from Sierra Leone and also all across the world right thank you guys for watching and I, I can't say much that soup was delicious try it and let me know like comment and stay blessed bye bye